Good morning, lovelies. Zoe Tudor here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today, we have just heard that we are getting Heatran as our latest legendary raid boss. So, Cresselia sails away and in storms Heatran. What an absolute beast of a Pokemon. This thing is an absolute, like, little chicken nuggy of, like, fire and lava and ground. So, let's really jump into our counters you're going to need for Heatran, what type it is, what moves it's got, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a really quick, compact guide on what you need, so let's not waste any time. First of all, Heatran is a legendary Gen 4 Pokemon. It is fire and steel type, uh, and that therefore means it is weak to ground, to water, and to fighting types, especially ground. It has a double weakness to ground because both steel and fire are weak to ground, so super duper effective moves are going to be your ground type moves. For 100% in a not weather boosted condition, you are looking for 2145 as the CP for 100 percent and in a weather boost, you are looking for 2681 for your 100% Heatran. For Heatran's quick moves, we're going to be seeing Bug Bite and Fire Spin, and then for the charge moves, we're going to be seeing Fire Blast, Iron Head, and Stone Edge for the charge moves. So because it's doubly weak to ground, we've got a couple of really optimal ground type attackers, those being, well, first of all, Groudon, it's in the name. Uh, this dude is going to do some amazing damage against Heatran. So grab yourself a double ground move Groudon and you're sitting pretty. So Mudshot and Earthquake, the best move set for your Groudon. Another great ground type attacker is actually going to be Swampert. So this is excellent for any of you who maybe uh, missed out on the Groudon raids and things like that when that was available. Um, don't be shocked guys, there is actually a surprising and larger number of returning players coming back to the game that maybe weren't uh, raiding through the middle of the year or at the start of the year and have come back to the game since. Like, I've actually met a lot of people in my local groups as well that are returning players that do not have a lot of these legendary types that we've kind of like as level 40 players, as uh, constant players of the game, we probably already have. So if you're in this boat, if you don't have all these legendaries yet, Swampert is going to be a great one for you. Fingers crossed you have got enough Mudkip candy to evolve all the way up. But the great thing for Swampert with its double ground type moves is that it will also resist the steel and the fire type moveset from Heatran. So not only is it going to be doing double super effective damage, it's going to be resisting half of its, or more than half of its moveset, which is excellent. So Groudon, Swampert, awesome for your double ground type attackers. You could also give Swampert a water type moveset, but when Heatran is already double weak to ground, there's no point in really, like, unless you don't have the TMs to spend, keep it as the double ground. Uh, if you want to use your water types, Kyogre, again, I'm sure not everyone has a Kyogre, but if you do, Kyogre with Waterfall and Hydro Pump is going to be your best bet. It will also resist the Fire and the Steel type moves, so Kyogre, an absolute winner there. Uh, if you do need another water type attacker, if you don't have, you know, a decent, you know, just a couple of, but aim for ground. Ground is going to be doing double the effectiveness, so do aim for that. If you're really scraping the bottom of the barrel for uh, ground and you need some other water types, uh, Gyarados is going to be doing a fighting fit job as well with double water type moves. And if you want to go use your double fighting types as well, Machamps, as always, the best fighting type attackers. So uh, counter dynamic punch or any, you know, double fighting type move is going to be great. Uh, your Heatran has got fire moves. If the raid boss you're versing has got fire moves, and you can find this out generally by what is auto-suggested to you. So generally what we get auto-suggested for raids is something that is resistant to what the raid boss has. So we often comment and say like, oh, the auto-select is a terrible feature. It always just gives you stuff that's like all these obscure, you know, Pokemon. But generally it's trying to suggest you things that will be resistant, not super effective against. So say for example, if it's suggesting you a bunch of water type Pokemon, it is likely that your Heatran will probably have the fire moveset or the fire charge moveset. Or perhaps you've had a raid party going before your raid group and you're the second group to go through. You ask the, the group that's gone through before you what moves does it have. If it has got that fire charge move, it is a chance to flex your little Rhyperior, your Rhydon, your Golems, if you do want to use those as well. However, be very careful not to use them when it is using its steel type moves because those will be doing super effective damage against your Rhyperior, your Rhydon, and your Golem. So, that's a fun chance to use that new Sinnoh Stone necessary Pokemon of Rhyperia, but only do it if it's got the fire type moves because you will get destroyed. And again, if you are really, really scraping the barrel for what you need for a counter, you don't have these legendaries or things like that, or you don't have many of them, uh, you can certainly also use things like uh, Flygon with double ground. Alolan Dugtrio with double ground also functions. Uh, for water type attackers, you could be using Gyarados, as I said before. If you want to give Swamp at double water type moves, you can, but I'd recommend the ground. And if you need some more fighting types, you could use uh, Breloom, Blaziken, Blaziken will resist the fire moves, or Hariyama. Those, all, those three will do uh, 
kind of like the next follow-ups besides Machamp are for fighting types. So that should be all you need to know to get out there and snag yourself some heat trans, get a group of friends together and just go hard. Be sure guys to be using type effective Pokemon. Don't just roll in with what is auto suggested. Be sure to be using one of these Pokemon that I have listed here today for you and keep an eye out for what charge moves it is using so that you are, you know, keeping your Pokemon safe, saving yourself some resources and not needing to revive and heal up as many Pokemon as you might. Just quickly in the raid scene as well, as of the 20th of this month, we're going to be seeing a switch in the Deoxys and we're going to be seeing the attack form Deoxys. A lovely new uh, spicy variety of Deoxys rolling into EX raids. So counters are pretty much the same as what you have been using currently for Deoxys if you haven't done one yet. Aim for your dark types essentially, but uh, I suppose top cluster of counters are going to be your Tyranitars with dark moves, your Mewtwo's, your Gengars with uh, ghost moves, Weavile, Honchkrow, Absol, Houndoom, they're all going to keep you out of trouble. So aim for the dark types and uh, Mewtwo and Gengar as well. But yeah, new new Deoxys form. With the amount of raiding that I've been doing lately, I've still been getting kind of like a, a weekly or second weekly EX raid pass. So I'm going to try and keep that up. If you don't know how to get an EX pass, Check out the link in the description. Um, the latest kind of posts with Pokemon Go explaining changes to raids have gone into detail about, you know, how to get an EX raid pass if you've never had one before. Um, essentially, what you're going to want to look out for is if your country has sponsored stops, like in the States, uh, sponsored stops are generally a great place to be getting your EX raid passes. Check out your local community as well. And if you're in a country that doesn't have sponsored stops, it's generally parks and you can now actually see at the top of the gym which ones are EX eligible to once you click onto them. So go and check out your local area and look for the little EX eligible raid gym icon at the top too. I'm really curious what this means for the little teaser with me, Sprit, Azelf, and Yuxi that were in the, the winter event coming. So maybe Heatran is our main raid boss and then throughout the December we're going to see those other legendaries as well. The Lake Trio or maybe they'll be rolling into January. I'm not sure. But good luck with your Heatran raids. Sending you guys good, good luck. And no doubt I'm going to be doing one of those very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeped and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.